I was asked earlier today whether or not we choose our reality. So when we're looking at choice and choosing our reality, it's based on some sort of control element that we ourselves have. And when you look at it, most of our reality is actually based on how we think, act and feel in the moment. And when we look at how we think, act and feel, these have varying conditions that can control that, that aren't necessarily inside us, they are outside of us. So when we're looking at it from a place of, can we control how we think, act and feel? Most of it is based on subconscious behavior that we've learned over years. And these can actually involve survival adaptations or coping mechanisms as to how we cope and how we survive in the environment that we're presented with. So when we go back to the basics of do we actually control our reality and do we choose our reality? You could argue that yes, we do, but no, we don't based on that principle. But there are wider aspects and more varied ways of looking at it because reality is based on your personal truths and based on what you believe is and how the world functions itself. So that once again is another perspective or another angle to look at it from. And these, once again, will have varying factors that can determine how that reality is filtered through your eyes and how you perceive things and where you position yourself within that scenario. But then we also have kind of a more esoteric approach whereby we're looking at going beyond what we can see and what we know. And because we're then going beyond what we can see and what we know, we're then looking at every choice, every step, every option that we take actually has a ripple effect and that ripple effect is what's then sent out to the next moment as if you're flicking through like a storyboard and each page as it flicks presents you with a new image of that image as you then progress through whatever that story would look like and that's technically how we approach life and how we go through life and then because we're going through in such a manner we're then getting to the position whereby how many pages are we flicking through and how much of this are we actually in control of when every option has multiple other options that should also be playing out at the same time, which then in itself creates a paradox. Because if we have any choice in any given moment and we can go left or right, up or down, straight forward or backwards, or we can also make no decision, which is a stationary decision, and everything around us then has to interact with that choice. So, based on that we have what would then be timelines or splits in timelines that at any point we can potentially make other choices to go back onto different timelines which will then subsequently give us a different reality but not necessarily from the same place that we would have originally joined it had we chosen differently at an earlier choice point and then we have control over these elements because we can obviously make different decisions at different times. And when we do so, we can then subsequently choose to change our identity, change how we think, act and feel, and change our belief structures and systems to support that identity. And then in doing so, we can then have a sense of control over our choices, over our reality and over our timeline. But then our personality or our personal reality is based on the culmination of all of those actions that then create the experience that we are set up to experience in order to then interact with our external environment. So there's a bit of food for thought for you. And as always, until next time, trust the process and it's bye for now.